The program today is what I consider the foundational, fundamental program of all the things I talk about. Program danas, ja njega smatram osnovnim i fundamentalnim programom o čemu se, o čemu se, svemu ćemo da govorimo. Basically, it's an introduction, uh, introduction to the laws of health. To je kratko upoznavanje sa zakonima zdravlja. It's a short program. To je kratki program. But it's vital. Ali je on vitalan. Now, there are common factors in nearly every disease. Postoje zajednički faktori koje svih bolesti. We got things like toxicities. Imamo toksičnost. We live in a toxic world. Živimo u toksičnom svetu. We have inflammation. Imamo upalu. And that's in almost every chronic disease. I to je skoro kod svake bolesti. People have weakened immune systems. Ljudi imaju slab imuni sistem. They are filled with microorganisms that are bad. Oni su napunjeni mikroorganizmi koji su loši. There are free radicals floating around our, our atmosphere. I slobodni radikali koji su u našoj atmosferi. And many people have wrong thinking, broken brains I like to call them. I dosta ljudi ima pogrešno razmišljanje ili slomljeni um kako ga ja nazivam. Now there are certain areas in the world called blue zones. Postoje određene sredine u svetu koje zove plave zone. This is a study that came out in November of 2005. Ovo istraživanje koje je izašlo 2005. u novembru. It identified three blue zones. Identifikovalo je tri plave zone. Places where people lived the longest. Mesta gde ljudi žive najduže. One was Okinawa. Jedan je Okinawa. I've lived in Okinawa. Ja sam živio u Okinavi. A lot of old people. Dosta starih ljudi. Another one was a small section of the island of Sardinia. Drugo je jedan deo ostrva Sardinija. And the other one was the city of Loma Linda, California. I treći je lo, grad Loma Linda u Kaliforniji. These places have large percentage of people over 100 years old. Ova mesta imaju veliki procenat ljudi koji žive preko 100 godina. Now they all have unique things about their their lifestyles. I svi oni imaju nešto unikatno oko svog stila života. Yeah. Okinawans share some things with people from Loma Linda. Znači Okinawa ima nešto zajedničko sa ljudima iz Loma Linde. But what I like the most is the one in the center. Ali ono što volim je to što u centru. The things that all of them have in common. Stvari koje svi imaju zajedničko. So let's just look briefly at the things they all hold in common. Hajmo sada pogledamo stvari koje oni imaju svi troje zajedno. They have a sense of family. Imaju osjećaj porodice. So very important. To je jako važno. They basically do not smoke. Oni ne puše. They are good in physical activity. Dobri su u fizičkoj aktivnosti. They're very social people. Društveni su ljudi. They have a diet high in legumes. Imaju ishranu koja se činjava dosta mahunarki. And they have a plant-based diet. I njihova ishrana je većinom biljna ishrana. Now I'm not saying they're vegetarians. Nisam rekao da su kompletno vegetarijanci. Okinawans eat a lot of fish. U Okinawi jedu dosta ribe. The Sardinians eat their lean meats. I u Sardini jedu njihovo meso. But for the most part, it is a plant-based diet. Ali u velikoj većini to je biljna ishrana. Now one thing that some of us have learned in our lives. Jednu stvar koju smo većina nas naučili u našem životu. It doesn't take long to go from here. Ne znam puno da prođete odavde. To there. Do ovde. Yeah, it just seems like it's overnight. Izgleda kao da je preko noći. But if we follow the laws of health. Ali ako pra, pra, pravilno pratimo zakone zdravlja. Even though we may end up looking as old as dirt. I možda možemo da izgledamo jako staro. We can be young inside. Ali možemo da imamo mladi unutra. And that's the key. I to je ključ. You see, life span is not the most important thing. Dužina života nije najvažnija stvar. We got to look at it two ways. Moramo da sagledamo s dva načina. There is quantity. Ima kvantitet. Some people have plenty of quantity. I dosta ljudi imaju veliki kvantitet. But they're missing the most important thing. A njima nedostaje jedna stvar. They're missing the quality. Njima nedostaje kvalitet. If we follow the laws of health, ako se pridržavamo zakona zdravlja, we can have more quality. Možemo da imamo više kvaliteta. Now I travel all around the Balkan states. Ja sam puto po svim balkanskim zemljama. And I've and I've done I've sort of combined all the Balkan states. 
ja sam skupi rezultate svih balkanskih zemalja. Looking at the average life expectancy. I gledao sam koji je prosječan životni vek. Now some of you will be higher than this. Neki će te biti viši. Some will be lower than this. A neki niži. It's just an average. Ali nama treba prosjet. 2018, the average lifespan for men, 73.8 years. I prosjek je za buškarci bio 73,8 godina 2018. For women in 2018. A za žene 2018. 78.8 years. 78,8. Okay, that's the average lifespan. To je prosječan životni vek. Not the most important thing. Nije to najvažnija stvar. What's more important? Šta je važnije? The healthy life expectancy. Zdrav životni vek. All right, now... And for men it was 73.8 years for their life expectancy. Za muškarce to bilo 73,8. Healthy life expectancy. Ali zdrav životni vek. 65.4 years. 65,4. And what does that mean? Šta to znači? For the last 8.4 years of their lives. Znači zadnjih 8,4 godine. They've got some chronic disease. Imaju neku hroničnu bolest. That's making their quality much, much lower što čini da je njihov kvalitet bude niži. Right, women, average lifespan 78.8 years. A žene, a, dužina životnog veka je 78.8. Healthy life expectancy. Zdrav životni vek 69 years. 69. That means for them. Što znači za njih? 9.8 years of suffering from a chronic disease. 9.8 godina će pati od neke hronične bolesti. And there are many chronic diseases. I postoji puno hroničnih bolesti. Matter of fact, if you, if you Look at medical science. I ako gledate zdravstvene udžbenike, nauku, and, and find out how many different diseases there are. Koliko različitih bolesti postoji? It's about 100,000. Ima nekdo oko 100,000. Now, for my time here in the Balkan states, i za vreme koje sam ja proveo na Balkanu, the major killers, uh, glavne ubice, it's going to be heart disease, bit će bolesti srca, cerebral vascular disease, moždani udari, lung cancer, rak pluća and diabetes is going to be up there in that number. I diabetes će biti među tim brojevima. Okay. So these are the ones that are really affected by our lifestyle. I ovo su faktori koji većinom su uzročnici lošeg stila života. So we have 100,000 different diseases. Imamo 100.000 različitih vrsta bolesti. How many types of perfect health do we have? Znači koliko tipova savršenog zdravlja imamo? Well, there's only one type of perfect. Samo jedno savršeno. And so my recommendation is we strive for the perfect health. I moj savjet vam je da mi težimo ka savršenom zdravlju. Now we look at the the best definition of disease. I ako sagledamo najbolju definiciju bolesti, if you ask most people what is a disease, ako pitate većinu ljudi šta je bolest, they'll say it's an absence of health. Reći će nedostatak zdravlja. Well, duh, yeah, that is true. Da, to je istina. But here's the best definition. Ali evo najbolje definicije. It's an effort of nature to free itself from conditions that result from a violation of the laws of health. Bolest je pokušaj tela da oslobodi organizam od posljedica koje su nastale kršenjem zakona zdravlja. Violation of the laws of health. Kršenje zakona zdravlja. That causes conditions. To prouzrokuje neke uslove. We call that the disease. To zovemo bolest. So here's we're going to take three steps now. Uđe ćemo tri koraka sada. First step. Prvi korak. We've got to find out what's causing my condition. Moramo da saznamo šta uzrokuje taj moj problem. What am I doing wrong? Šta činim pogrešno? Right? And that's usually pretty easy to, to figure out. I to je dosta lako ustanoviti. I do a, a cancer seminar every year in Japan. Ja radim seminar o raku svake godine u Japanu. I, we have the patients fill out a, a pretty big questionnaire. I naši uh, pacijenti popunjavaju i odgovaraju na dosta pitanja. One of them. Jedan od njih. What time do you go to bed at night? Kad idete da spavate u krevet? 11, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. 11, 12, 1 ujutro. That's one of your causes right there. To je jedan od tvojih uzroka. Okay, so... Now natural law tells us immediately that we violated the law. Znači prirodni zakon nam odmah govori da smo mi prekršili taj zakon. You can stay up late for 10 years. Vi možete da budete budni do kasno nekih 10 godina and not know any any symptoms. I nećete imati nikakve simptome. But natural law. 
ali prirodni zakon you stick your finger in a flame ako vi gurnete prst u vatru unless you got diabetic neuropathy you know it right now i jedino ako nemate dijabetičnu neuropatiju vi ćete odma znati da nešto nije u redu if you step off a very high place a ako zakoračite sa neke velike visine there's a natural law postoji prirodan zakon you're going down vi ćete pasti not next week ne sljedeće nedelje not next year ne sljedeće godine not when you get old ne kad ostarite you're going down now vi idete to odma dole idete other natural laws drugi prirodni zakoni but this is an interesting one ali ovo je nešto interesantno if any you ever smoked ako je iko od vas pušio i like using that past tense word ja volim da koristim tu reč iz prošlosti or if any of you still smoke ili neki od vas koji još puše think back to the first cigarette Vrajte se nazad na prvu cigaretu. The first time you inhaled. Prvi put kada ste udahnuli taj dim. Do you remember? Da li se sećate? I do. Ja se sećam. <coughs> My body is telling me something. Moje telo mi je nešto govorilo. It says, don't do that. Telo je reklo, nemoj to da radiš. But after a while, we got used to it. Ali posle izvesnog vremena mi se naviknemo. And you know, I, 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 I like to sometimes watch a smoker smoke. Ja nekada volim da gledam kako pušači puše. I saw a young man just yesterday. Ja sam samo već juče video jednog mladića. He's a man. On je muškarac. I'm going to smoke a cigarette. Ja ću da popušim cigaretu. And he puts it to his mouth. I stavi u usta. Why do they suck so long? Zašto toliko usisavaju? And I see most smokers doing that nowadays. Ja vidim puno pušača da to čini. It's not just a It is a long intake. Znači dugo im treba da uzmu. But this one is going to have some consequences. Ali ovaj će imati neke štetne rezultate. It may take a few years. Može će uzeti par godina. It may take much of a lifetime. Možda će uzeti duži život, životni, uh, d- uh, možda će uzeti duže vremena. But in almost every case you are going to have a consequence. Ali u svakom slučaju ti ćeš imati štetne posledice. But there are certain ones that are a little bit faster to show up. Ali neki se možda pokažu ranije. You eat too much food? Ako previše jedete hrane, you're going to get fat. Vi ćete se ugojiti. It just it's, it's a law. To je zakon. Okay. There's other interesting laws. Postoje drugi interesantni zakoni. Laws of aerodynamics. Zakoni aerodinamike. Okay. I was a pilot. Ja sam bio pilot. And I, I, you look at all these dials. I tak kad gledate sve ove skazaljke. Let's consider these things to be the laws of health. Sagledamo ove skazaljke kao zakone zdravlja. Which one do you not want to pay attention to? Na koji od njih vi ne želite da obraćate pažnju? Now remember something. Zapamtite nešto. Your life will depend upon it. Vaš život će zavisiti od njih. No, if you're a pilot, ako ste pilot, you know what every single one of these things means. Vi znate svaki od ovih skadetki šta znači. And you're always looking at that instrument panel. I uvek gledate na ovu instrument tablu. Now, when I was in pilot training, kad sam ja išao na obuku za pilote, they gave me some advice. Dali su mi jedan savet. If you ever go into a spin, ako idete u neki vrtlog, it's because you made a mistake. To je zato što ste napravili grešku. You, see, when you're flying an airplane, kad letite avionom, you push forward, you go down. Ako vi gurnete, vi idete dole. Pull backwards, you're going to go up. Ako gurnete nazad, idete gore. If you turn this way, your wings are going to go this way. Ako okrenete na ovu stranu, krila će okay. na tu stranu. Then you got two foot pedals. I onda imate papučice dole. They're changing your direction on your tail. Oni menjaju smer na repu. If you make a mistake, ako napravite grešku, your plane's going to go into spin. Vaš avion će se ići u vrtlog. Here's what they told me to do. I evo šta su mi rekli da moram da učinim. If you go through a sp- if you get into a spin, ako počne da se avion vrti u krug, let go. Pustite sve. Take your feet off, take your hands off. Znači, vaša stopala i vaše ruke. Might be good idea to pray too while you're at it. Uh, ne bi bilo loše možda da se pomolimo u isto vreme. And the plane many times will come out of the spin. I dosta puta avion će sam izaći iz tog vrtloga. Quit doing the wrong thing. 
prestajte da radite pogrešne stvari. Drugi korak. Once you've discovered what the wrong thing was, kad saznate šta je kad saznate šta nije u redu, change it. Promijenite ga. If you're drinking the wrong things, ako pijete pogrešne stvari, like that cup of coffee in the morning, kao šoljica kafe ujutro, start drinking the water. Počnite da pijete vodu. Your, your blood is not made out of coffee, it's made with water. Vaša krv nije sačinjena od kafe, već od vode. If you're eating the wrong things, ako jedete pogrešne stvari, start eating the right things. Jedite prave stvari. And if you're doing the right thing, wrong things, i ako radite pogrešne stvari, start moving your body and do the right thing. Počnite da se krećete i činite prave stvari. That's the second step. To je drugi korak. Sometimes we need the third step. Nekada nam je potreban i treći korak. Not always. Ne stalno. If you are overweight, ako ste gojazni, this step is what you need. Ovo je korak koji je potreban. But there's others. If you got cancer, ako imate rak, then we got to assist nature in restoring health. Onda moramo da koristimo prirodu da obnovi zdravlje. How do we do that? Kako to činimo? Well, we can do some hydrotherapy. Možemo da radimo hidroterapiju. Okay. It can kill cancer cells. Ono može da ubije stanice raka. Increase circulation. Poboljša cirkulaciju. It strengthen your immune system. Jača imuni sistem. We can use some charcoal. Možemo da koristimo aktivni ugalj. Takes up toxins out of the body. On izlači toksine iz tela. I was talking to a man recently. Ja sam skoro razgovarao sa čovjekom. Got some bad kidney problems. Ima uh, velike probleme sa bubrezima. Now here's the key. I evo gde ključ leži. When you have an organ that's not working right. Kad imate organ koji ne funkcioniše kako treba, you've got to find a way to restore health to that organ. Morate naći način kako da obnovite zdravlje tog organa. The job of the kidneys is to filter your blood. Posao bubrega je da filtrira vašu krv. Take some of the pressure off the kidneys. Da malo pritisak uh, otklonite sa bubrega. How do you do that? Kako možete to da učinite? You get some charcoal powder. Uzmete malo uh, aktivnog uglja u prahu. Make a poultice out of it. Napravite oblogu od aktivnog uglja. Lay that at night over your kidneys. I stavite to preko bubrega. In the morning it will smell like urine. I ujutro će ono mirisati kao mokraća. Because it's going to pull the toxins right through your skin. I ona će izvući toksine kroz vašu kožu. And then there's another thing we can use, we can use herbs. I još jednu stvar koju možemo da koristimo, to su biljke. I love the use of herbs. Ja volim korišćenje biljaka. I carry with me a bottle of oil of oregano. Ja nosim sa sobom stalno bočicu divljeg oregana. If I'm feeling sick, kad sam bolestan, I'm going to take that stuff. Ja ću to da uzmem. And you know, since I've been over here, et kad sam ovde, You've got some of the best. Vi imate najbolju ulog oregano. Wild oregano. Divlji oregano. That if you take three drops, i ako samo uzmete tri kapljice, it sets your mouth on fire. Ono će učiniti da vaša usta skoro budu kao vatra. I've got some in America. Ja imam neke u Americi. I take ten drops. Ja moram deset kapljica. I can hardly uzmem. taste the oregano. Ja jedva mogu da okusim oregano. Get that strong stuff. Uzmite te jake stvari. Now, when you have a disease, you have a sickness. Kad imate bolest, how do you know? Kako vi to znate? Well, you're going to have symptoms. Imaćete simptome. Now, think about this for a moment. Malo razmislite o ovome. The symptom is not the disease. Simptom nije bolest. Let's say you're sneezing. Hajmo da kažemo da vi kijate. All right, is sneezing the disease? Da li je kijanje bolest? No, it is the body's attempt to get something out of the nasal passages that's causing an irritation. Znači, to je pokušaj tela da izbaci nešto što se nalazi u nosnoj dublji što prouzrokuje iritaciju. So you got something up there irritating? Na, imate nešto unutra što iritira? <laughs> you sneeze? Vi kinete? <laughs> goes across the room. I izađe kroz sobu. That's why when you sneeze. Zato kada kijate. Sneeze into something. Znači kinite u nešto. Um, if you don't have something, whew, sneeze into your crook of your arm. Ako nemate ništa, onda kinite u vaš lakat. Don't share it with everybody. Nemojte to da delite sa drugima. How about a temperature? Šta ćemo sa temperaturom? A temperature is not a disease. Temperatura nije bolest. It's the body's reaction to a foreign invader. 
To je reakcija tela na nekoga koja je napao organizam. Let's say it's a virus that's going to give you the grip. Hajde da kažemo da je to virus i on daje vam grip. Ok, so the virus gets into your body. Znači, virus uđe u vaše telo. The immune system alerts your hypothalamus. Znači, imuni sistem će da obavesti hipotalmus. It says, we got an enemy here. Kaže, ovdje imamo neprijatelja. Ok, so the hypothalamus is going to do something. I hipotalmus je nešto da učini. It's going to produce a hormone. Proizvršće hormon. And that's going to affect the body's temperature. I to će da utiče na temperaturu tela. And when the temperature gets affected, it's going to affect the white blood cells. I kad je temperatura velika, ono će da utiče na bela krvna zrnca. So let's turn the temperature up. Hajmo da podignemo temperaturu. All right, just went up. Sad se podigla. White blood cells just got increased. I povećali smo bela krvna zrnca. And they're moving faster. I oni se brzo kreću. And when they really get ready to go, i kad su spremni da idu, they take care of the viruses. I oni se pobrinu za viruse. But what do most people do when they get a temperature? Ali šta većina ljudi radi kada dobije temperaturu? They take some type of a tablet. On ne uzmu neku vrstu tablete. What does that tablet do? Šta ta tableta čini? It poisons the hypothalamus. Ono otroje hipotalmus. Which means your temperature is not going to go up. Što znači da vaša temperatura se neće povisiti. Which means your immune system is not going to get stronger. Što znači da vaš imunni sistem neće biti jak. Which means the viruses are free to multiply. Znači, virusi su sada slobodni da se razmožavaju. Your fever is your friend. Znači, vaša temperatura je vaš prijatelj. What about pain? Šta ćemo sa bolom? Is pain a disease? Da li je bol bolest? No, pain is a symptom that tissue is being damaged. Bol je signal da je tkivo oštećeno. Now, if you don't like pain, ok, ako ne volite bol, there are some diseases that will take your pain sensation away. Postoje neke bolesti koje će odkloniti vašu osetljivost na bol. One is diabetic neuropathy. Jedan je diabetička neuropatija. Can't feel the pain. Ne možete dostati bol. Step on the pin, good to go, you're not going to feel it. Znači, zgazite neke iglice, ne osjećate bol. Or you can go somewhere and get a good case of the leprosy. Ili može da odete negde da vidite dobar slučaj gube. They don't feel a thing. Oni ništa ne osjećaju. Yeah, you really, you should be thankful for the sense of pain. Vi bi trebali budete zahvalni za osjećaj bola. Because we can find out what's causing the pain, eliminate the cause. Jer onda tako saznate šta uzrokuje bol i eliminišete uzrok. Coughing. Kašalj. Many people cough. Dosta ljudi kašlje. If I talk too long, ako ja previše pričam, I'll get a little cough. Ja ću malo da kašljem. Someone brings me a glass of water, no problem. Neko mi da čašu vode i nije nikakav problem. But one of the major causes of coughing, especially in this part of the world, I'm afraid, koji su glavni uzrosti bar u ovom delu, u ovom regionu, the use of tobacco, korišćenje duvanskog dima, duvana. You put this stuff down in your lungs. Vi stavljate to u vaša pluća. Your lungs don't like it. Vaša pluća to ne vole. Tar is accumulating. Katran se skuplja. The, the lungs are trying to get this out of the body. Pluće pokušavaju to da izbace iz tela. Because it knows what you're doing. Jer ono zna šta ti činiš. You are committing slow suicide. Vi polako uh, stvarate i učinite samoubistvo. Stay away from tobacco. Klonite se duvanskog dima. If you want to quit, you can. Ako želite da prestanete, vi to možete. If you say you can't, you're right, you can't. Ako kažete da ne možete, vi ne možete. I smoked for a long time. Ja sam dugo pušio. On April the 1st. 1. aprila. Hey, I'm almost to the anniversary. I evo, skoro je... 1973. Skoro će opet doći, 1973. I smoked my last cigarette. Popušao sam zadnju cigaretu. I ja sam zahvalan i dan danas. Ali evo koji problem imamo danas. Neko ima simptom. Imaju neku vrstu bolesti. I odu kod doktora. I odu kod doktora. I pitaju doktora šta može da učinite za moj problem. I on će im da učinite neku medicament. Medicine. Okay. It's not the way to do it. 
nije način na koji treba to da činimo. Well, say they decide, okay, I'm not going to go to my doctor anymore. I onda odlučite, neću ići kod svog doktora. I don't recommend that. I ja vam to ne savjetujem. Doctors are brilliant people. Doktori su briljantni ljudi. They can tell you what's wrong. Oni mogu da vam kažu šta nije u redu. You need to know what's wrong. Vi treba da znate šta nije u redu. Okay. So, now they come to another type of a health person. Sad dođu kod drugog zdravstvenog radnika. And they got the same question. I imaju isto pitanje. What can I do for? And they'll tell the problem. I onda kažu koji je njihov problem. In both cases, u oba slučaja, they want an instant fix. Oni žele instantno isceljenje. And, and many times they don't want to hear what I have to say. I često puta oni ne žele da čuju što ja im kažem. They say, what herb can I take for this complex problem? Koju biljku ja mogu da uzmem za ovaj kompleksni problem? It's often amusing to me. Često mi je to nešto nevjerovatno. A person comes to me. Osoba dođe kod mene. And they tell me their pro- they, they might spend five minutes telling me the history of their problem. I oni njima potrebno pet minuta da mi kažu istoriju njihovog problema. And then you just stand there. I onda samo stojiš. No paper. Nemaju papir. No pen. Nemaju olovku. No recorders. Ne snimaju. No cell phones. Nemaju mobilne telefone. They want me to tell them what to do. Oni čekaju da ja kažem što treba da rade. In 20 words or less. Za manje od 20 reči. It doesn't work that way. Ne radi tako. Tako se ne radi to. Here's what I'll do almost every time. I evo što ja ću raditi skoro svaki put. Say here's my email address. Evo ovo je moja email adresa. You write me. Vi mi napišite. Tell me what your problem is. Recite mi u čemu je vaš problem. I will answer it. Ja ću vam odgovoriti. I've answered sometimes five or six pages. Ja ću nekada poslati pet do šest stranica. Because it's a lifestyle modification that we need. Jer ono što nam je potrebno je promjena stila života. Here's our problem. Jevo da naš problem. I have a, my own personal term for the problem. Moj jedan lični naziv kako ja zovem probleme. People have Babylonian minds. Ljudi imaju vavilonski um. Now where does the word Babylon, Babylon come from? I odakle reč Vavilon dolazi? The book of Genesis. Znači u knjizi prvoj Mojsijevoj. The Tower of Babel. Znači Vavilonska kula. Where God confused the languages. Gde je Bog uh, pomešao jezike. Babel means confusion. Uh, uh, Vavilon znači zbunjenost. We have so much confusion about our health. Mi imamo toliko zbunjenosti oko zdravlja. Someone gets a headache. Neko ima glavobolju. Because of the way we've been brought up. Način na koji smo odrasli. What do we want? Šta želimo? We want a medication. Mi želimo lek. Something is going to take care of it right now. Nešto će se uh, uh, mi želimo da se to pobrine odma. Had a patient come to Uchi Pines where I used to work. Imao sam pacijenta koji bi koji je došao u Uchi Pines da sam nekada radio. Had a long list of problems. Imao je veliku listu problema taking 32 medications a day. Uzima je 32 leka na dan. I thought that's too many medications. Ja sam mislio da to previše lekova. So I took a list of her problems. I uzeo sam listu problema. I took a list of her medications. I listu njenih lekova. And I made a chart. I napravio sam tabelu. Now she was taking blood pressure medication because her blood pressure is too high. I ona je koristila lekove za pritisak jer je pritisak bio povišen. But then I looked up the major side effects of that medication. I onda sam gledao nus pojave tog leka. We've got books that tell the side effects of all medication. Mi imamo knjige koje govore o nus pojavama svih lekova. Well, one of the side effects was one of her problems. Jedna od nus pojava je bio njen problem. She was tired all the time. Bila je stalno umorna. So the doctors gave her medication for that. I doktor da oleg za to. I looked up its major side effects. Ja sam opet sagledao njene nus pojave. You see what was happening. Vidite šta se dešava. Every time I saw the side effect of a medication, svaki put kad sam video nus pojavu leka, I found it to be one of her problems. Da što bude jedan od njenih problema. So at the end of that day, i na kraju tog dana, where she started that day with 32 medications, i kad je počela sa 32 leka, she was down to four medications. Smanjili smo na četiri leka. Now, let me caution you. 
Evo, želim da vas upozorim. You can't stop all medications. Vi ne možete odmah da prestati sa svim lekovima. If you're taking prednisone. If you're taking anti-inflammatories. Ako koristite lekove protiv upale. If you are taking blood pressure medications. Ako koristite lekove za pritisak. You can't just stop them. Vi ne možete odmah da prestanete. Okay. Because you can have a reverse reaction. Možete da imate... Now this is not just a problem with developed countries. Ovo nije samo problem sa razvijenim zemljama. Here I am in the country of India. Ovde sam ja u Indiji. Okay. Um, I'm sitting across from my translator. Ja sedim preko puta mog prevodioca. Got a patient sitting there at the table with us. Imam pacijenta koji sedi pored mene. And all the rest of the patients waiting for their turn. I ovo su svi drugi pacijenti koji čekaju svoj red. So they would tell me their problem. I oni bi mi rekli svoj problem. I would make some suggestions. I ja bih posavetovao. And they get that smile on their face. Imaju osmeh na svome licu. And they do their yes. I da kažu svoje da sa glavom. Hold out their hand. I pruže ruku. And say tablets. Kažu tablete. I says, that wasn't something I mentioned. Kaže, to nije ono što sam ja rekao. I said, do these things. Učinite ove stvari. Tablets. Kaže opet tablete. So I had to go into the to town. Ja sam morao da odem u grad. I bought vitamins in blister packs. A kupio sam vitamine u pakovanjima. Cut them in strips. I seko sam ih okay. u trakice. And, oops, sorry. And, and then I would glue them together. I da bih zalepio zajedno. Put them under my table. Stavio bih ih ispod stola. And then when the patient came to me. I kada bi pacijent došao, saying what their problem was. I kažu koji su problemi. I say do these things. Učinite te stvari. And then I reach down and grab a long strip. I onda bi dohvatio tu dugačku trakicu tableta. Vitamin C, vitamin C, B complex, B complex. Just simple stuff. Neke jednostavne stvari. And I give them to him. I dao sam to. Now I want you to take one of those every day. I kaže, želim da uzmete ovu jednu svaki dan. With eight glasses of water. Sa osam čaša vode. Well, if they did that, jer ako to učine, at least why they be flushing their urinary system. Bar će da očiste svoj mokrični sistem. Maybe helping a little bit with constipation. Mora će pomoći sa obstipacijom. We've got Babylonian minds. Mi imamo vavilonski um. Okay. Let me tell the story. Želim da vam ispričam jednu priču. Sort of illustrates the foundational principle of health. Jednu ilustraciju o osnovnim principima zdravlja. There is a man who had a very sore foot. Postoje čovjek koga je bolilo stopalo. He goes to a doctor. Otišao je kod doktora. The doctor, my foot hurts. Kaže, doktore, stopalo me boli. Not a problem. Nije nikakav problem. I'll give you a shot of painkiller. Daću ti nekciju protiv bolova. So he goes to the next doctor. He didn't want the shot. Znači, on je otišao kod drugog doktora jer nije želio inekciju. Tells him about his sore foot. I opet mu je rekao o problemima stopala. Not a problem. Nema problema. Take some of these painkillers. Uzme ove tablete protiv bolova. Didn't like that idea. Njemu se ni ta ideja nije svidjela. Third doctor. Treći doktor. This one offers him a cane to lean on while he's walking. Ovi mu sada nudi štap da se osloni na njega kada hoda. He didn't want to carry a cane. On nije želeo da nosi štap. Goes to the fourth doctor. Onda ide kod četvrtog doktora. He says, doktor, please, my foot's killing me. Kaže, doktore, molim te, toliko me noga boli. Doktor kaže, it's not a problem. Doktor kaže, nema nikakih problema. Lay it up here on the table. Lezi na sto. We'll just cut the thing off. Samo ćemo da odsečemo. Well, that was instant cure. I to u jednu ruku ga je instantno izlečilo. That guy jerked his foot off the table when running down the street. Skočio je sa stola i protrče niz ulicu. But he got down the street and realized, oh, my foot still hurts. I onda kad je trčao, on je shvatio da, oh, stopalo, meni dalje boli. Goes to a fifth doctor. Odlazi kod petog doktora. Now this one did something different. Znači, ovaj doktor je radio nešto drugačije. He said, let's take off your shoe. I on je rekao, hajde, skini svoju cipelu. Took off the shoe. Skinio je cipelu. Large stone in his shoe. Bio je veliki kamen u cipeli. Now, what should he do? Recite mi, šta bi on sad trebao da uradi? Common sense will tell you. Logika će vam reći. Get the stone out of the shoe. Izvadi kamen iz cipele. And then you've cured your problem. I vi ste tako izlečili problem. That is a foundational principle of health. To je jedan temeljni princip zdravlja.
Don't forget it. Nemojte da zaboravite. What's the principle? Koji je princip? Reason from cause to effect. Sagledavanje od uzroka do posledica. If you've got a problem, find out what caused the problem. Ako imate problem, ustanovite šta je uzrokovalo problemu. If you've got a headache, ako imate glavobolju, is not caused by a lack of aspirin. Nije uzrokovano nedostatkom aspirina. It's usually caused by a lack of something. Obično uzrokovano nedostatkom nečega. So here's what I want you to do. I want to tell you to do it. Next time you get a headache, sledeći put kad imate glavobolju, try the experiment. Probajte ovaj eksperiment. Drink a glass of water. Popijte čašu vode. Every 10 minutes. Svakih 10 minuta. For an hour. Uz roku od sat vremena. In most cases, your headache is going to be gone. U većini slučajeva vaša glavobolja će da prođe. Okay? Because it was a sign of dehydration. Je to bio znak dehidracije. Okay, so we got the foundation. Znači imamo temelj. Reason from cause to effect. Rezonujete od uzroka do posljedica. On top of that we got three golden pillars. Na vrhu toga imamo tri zlatna stuba. And these are basic laws. I ovo su osnovni zakoni. Remember these basics. Sećate se ovih osnova. If you understand the foundation of the three golden pillars, ako znate temelje i tri stuba, and you've got some common sense, i ako imate neku logiku, you can fight most of your sicknesses. Možete se izboriti sa dosta bolesti. Okay, first golden pillar. Prvi zlatni stub. It says the life is in the blood. Život je u krvi. Okay. Where does your blood come from? Odakle vaša krv dolazi? The food that you eat. Namirice koje jedete. So let's make it, we'll say it a different way here. Evo na drugi način ćemo da kažemo. What you put into your body. Ono što stavljate u vaše telo. That's going to make your, your blood. To će sačiniti vašu krv. Which is going to make your tissues. Što će načiniti vaša tkiva. Which will affect your thoughts. Što će uticati na vaše misli. Okay, second golden pillar. Drugi zlatni stub. That's perfect health requires a perfect circulation. Savršno zavlje zahteva savršnu cirkulaciju. You can have the best blood in the world. Možete da imate i najbolju krv na svetu. But if it's not circulating, ako ne cirkuliše, you're dead. Vi ste mrtvi. Another simple way of putting this, još jedan jednostavan način, what we do with our bodies. Ono što radimo sa našim telom. So how can we increase circulation? Kako možemo da poboljšamo cirkulaciju. Well, exercise is a great way. Fizička aktivnost je odlična. Now you say why I really don't have time to go for a walk. I onda ćete reći ja ja nemam dovoljno vremena da se šetam. Well, if you've got a garden, go out and work in the garden. A ako imate baštu, radite u bašti. That's even better than taking a walk. To je još puno bolje nego da se šetate. Whenever you clean your house, clean the street in front of your house, you're exercising. Šta god bude da čistite kuću ili oko kuće, to je dalje fizička aktivnost. We're not talking about having to go out running. Ne govorimo o tome da vi morate trčite. Move your body. Pokrećite telo. But if you cannot move your body. Ali ako ne možete da pokrećete telo, massage is passive exercise. Masaže je pasivna fizička aktivnost. That can increase your circulation. To može da poveća vašu cirkulaciju. Hydrotherapy can increase your circulation. Hidroterapija će pospešiti vašu cirkulaciju. Getting in hot water dilates the blood vessels. U toplo vode vi proširujete krvne sudove. Something else dilates the blood vessels. Još nešto proširava krvne sudove. Getting out in the sunshine. Znači izlagati se sunčevoj svetlosti. That's a great way to lower high blood pressure. To je odličan način da snizite visok pritisak. And then just drinking enough water. I pijenje dovoljno vode. Because your blood is 92% water. Jer je vaša krv 92% voda. It makes it thinner. Čini ga ređom. Flows better. Brže, bolje teče. But then we come to the third golden pillar. Onda imamo do trećeg zlatnog stuba. I consider this probably the most important one. I ja možda smatram ovo da je najvažniji. What you think about your life. Ono što vi mislite o vašem životu. There is a happy picture. Ovo je lepa slika. See the lady in the middle. Vidite ovu gospođu u sredini? Does she look happy? Da li ona izgleda vesela? She's very happy. Ona je jako vesela. That's her 90th birthday party. Ovo je njen 90. rođendan. She's surrounded by almost 65 family members. Ona je okružena sa 65 članova porodice. That's what keeps her young. Ovo je ono što ga nju čini mladom. So we got our foundation. Znači imamo temelj. We got our three golden pillars. Tri zlatna stuba. But pillars hold something up. 
ali stubovi drže nešto. And what is that? A šta je to? That's the 15 laws of health. To je 15 zakona zdravlja. So we're going to move into these 15 laws of health. Znači sad ćemo krenuti sa ovih 15 zakona zdravlja. I'm not going to mention all of them. Ja ih neću pomenuti sve. But I'm going to mention what probably are some of the most important ones. Ali ja ću pomenuti neki koji su najvažniji. Listen closely. Slušajte me pažljivo. Right. First one. Prvi. What we put into the body is nutrition. Ono što stavljamo u naše telo, ishrana. Now if I were to ask if I were to ask you a question. I kada bih vam postavio pitanje. Back in the 1400s, how long did people live? U oko 1400 i nekoj godini koliko su obično ljudi živeli? You would say oh 40 50 years at the tops. Moja 40 50 godina najviše. Well there is a man named Thomas Parr. Tad je postao čovjek po imenu Thomas Parr. He lived in England. On je živio u Engleskoj. He was born in 1483. On je rođen 1488. Lived in England his whole life. 83. Živio u Engleskoj uh, ceo život. Died in 1635. Umro je 1635. Do the math. Izračunajte. That's a long time. To je dosta vremena. He lived during the reigns of 10 kings and queens of England. On je živio ili proživio kroz 10 vladavina kraljeva i kraljice. What was the secret to his longevity? Ko je bila tajna njegovog dugovečnosti? One thing. Jedna stvar. He was a farmer. Bio je farmer. He lived a very simple life. Živio je jednostavnim životom. He ate simple. Jednostavno je se hranio. Got lots of exercise. Bio je dosta fizički aktivan. Plenty of fresh air and sunshine. Dosta sunčeve svetlosti i svežeg vazduha. Very good life. I jako dobar život. You know, it's interesting. There is a type of arthritis called gout. Postoji tip artritisa koji se zove gihta. You start to feel it in the toes. Obično ga osjetite u prstima. Back then it was called the disease of royalty. A u to vreme se to zvala bolest bogatih. From the rich diets that the kings and queens ate. Od uh, bogate ishrane koju su jedi kraljevi i kraljice. These uric acid crystals would build up in the joints of the toes. Znači, ti kristali mokrešne kiseline bi se stvarali u zglobovima i u palcima. But they had a solution. Ali oni su imali soluciju. They take that prince or whoever he was. On uzmu tog princa ili kog god je to bio. Send them out to work with the peasants. I pošlju da rade sa siromasima. Eat their food. Da jedu njihovu hranu. Do you have problems that started in your toes? Ako imate probleme koji su počeli u vašim prstima. Eat like a peasant. Jedite kao siromah. Simple food. Jednostavnu hranu. Okay. Another reason for his longevity. I još jedna tajna njegove dugovečnosti. The first time he got married? Prvi put kada se oženio? He was 80 years old. Bio je 80 godina. 80 stress-free years. 80 godina bez stresa. Okay. When he was in 1835, uh, 1635, i uh, 1000 635. godine The reigning king was Charles the First. Kralj koji je vladao tada je bio Charles I. Well they took uh, Thomas Parr to see the king. I oni su odveli Tomasa Parra da vidi kralja. I mean he was a unique man. Ovo je bio unikatan čovjek. 153 years old. 153 godine star. And he had all of his all of his mind still there. I umu je savršeno radio. Tell great stories. Mogao je dobre priče, lepe priče da priča. So they had a big banquet in his honor. Znači imali su veliko slavlju čast njemu. And he told the best stories. I on je pričao najbolje priče. You know when your great 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 grandfather was a king, this happened. Znaš kad je tvoj pra 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 otac bio kralj, to se desilo. Wow, the king was impressed. I kralj se oduševio. He says, look, here's what I want you to do. I evo šta ja želim ti da uradiš, mu je rekao. Come into the castle, live here. Dođi u zamak i živi ovdje. You don't have to work anymore. Ne moraš više da radiš. I'll feed you, I'll house you, I will clothe you. Ja ću ti ubediti smeštaj, ja ću te hraditi, ja ću ti dati garderobu. Thomas Parr said, sounds like a great deal. I Thomas Parr je rekao, u, ovo izgleda jako dobro. So he moves in. I on se preselio. For 153 years. 153 godine. He'd eaten a good diet lived a good lifestyle. Jeo je dobru hranu, imao je dobar stil života. But now he's in the king's palace. Ali sad on je u kraljevskoj palati. Living and eating like a king. Živi i jede kao kralj. 
How long did he do this? Koliko je dugo on to radio? Two weeks. Dve nedelje. And he was dead. I umro je. Well, they didn't know what was this. Ja nisam znali šta je sad ovo. And he was a pretty healthy guy when he got here. I bio dosta zdrav kad je došao. So the king's physician i kraljevski lekar did an autopsy on the man's body. I radio autopsiju njegovog tela. He noticed two things. Primetio je dve stvari. One. Prvo, he had the digestive organs of a young man. Imao je digestivne organe mladoga čoveka. He had eaten simple food. Jeo je jednostavne namirnice. Basically two, maybe a third meal. Dva, možda tri obroka. Very rarely ate animal products because they were too expensive. Jako redko je jeo namirnice životinjskog porekla jer su bile skupe. Digestive organs of a young man. Znači, digestivne organe imao je kao mladić. But they were all inflamed and congested. Oni su bili upaljeni i zagušeni. Two weeks of eating like a king. Samo dve nedelje je jeo kao kralj. It doesn't take long. Ne uzima dugo vremena. I was in the military for a long time. Ja sam dosta dugo bio u vojsci. I took a, a, a tour with my commanding general. I moj general me proveo kroz jednu turu. He had three stars. Imao je tri zvezdice. All over the far east. I sve ih je dobio na Bliskom istoku. We flew in a, in a four-prop airplane. Four I, propellers. Uh, letali smo avionom koji ima četiri propelera. Low and slow. Uh, nisko i sporo. And this was a VIP airplane. I ovo je bio avion za jako važno osoblje. There were two men who cooked. Bilo su dva čovjeka koja su kuvala. And they cooked good food. I oni su kuvali dobru hranu. And so one of our first stops was Korea. I znaš, prva stanica je bila Koreja. Well, we had been, no, I guess it wasn't the first stop. That was somewhere into maybe over a week in the airplane at other places. Mi smo bili na više mjesta, ali već smo proveli nekih nedelju dana vleteći avionima. And we've been eating that food. Jeli smo tu hranu. And just sitting there for 12 or 13 hour flights. I sedeli smo u tim letovima po 12, 13 sati. And it was good food. Bila dobra hrana. So now we're in Korea. Sad smo u Koreji. We went to a tailor shop. I otišli smo kod krojača. There were four of us. Bilo je nas četvoro. Two colonels, two captains. Uh, dva kapetana i dva poručnika. And we got, we ordered some clothing. I naručili smo neku garderobu. Tailor made clothes. Garderoba koju je pravio krojač. I ordered three pairs of trousers. Ja sam naručio tri para pantalona. They measured everything. Sve su merili. I chose my material. Ja sam izabrao svoj materijal. Okay, and then they were going to ship them to Hawaii where I lived. I onda su trebali da ga pošalju na Havaje, tamo gdje sam živeo. We finished the tour. Završili smo turu. I got back home. Vratio sam se kući. About a month later, here came the trousers. I mjesec dana kasnije došli su pantalone. None of them fit. Nijedne mi nisu pasale. Sitting in that airplane, eating that rich food. Sjedeći u avionu, jedući tu bogatu hranu. Put so much weight around my middle. Toliko sam... Toliko sam dobio viška kilograma. And that's what they had measured for my trousers. A to su merili za moje pantalone. And now I'd lost all that weight. I sad kad sam izgubio te kile. I never wore those trousers. Nikad nisam nosio te pantalone. One of the problems besides what we're eating was not getting enough exercise. I još jedan problem što ne jedemo kako treba, nije ni fizički nismo aktivni. We need to move our bodies. Mi moramo da pokrećemo naše telo. More people die of not getting enough exercise than being tired. Više ljudi umre zbog nedostatka fizičke aktivnosti nego zato što se zamore. Matter of fact, we don't wear out, we rust out. A mnogo više ljudi zarđa nego što se istroši. I, I love looking at these four ladies. Ja volim da gledam sliku ove četiri dame. They're doing things that I would consider torture. Yeah. Oni rade neke stvari što ja smatram da je kao mučenje. But it's just a part of their lives. They're just limber, they're in good shape. Ali to je samo deo njihovog života. Oni su u dobroj formi. Why do we exercise? Zašto smo fizički aktivni? These people say, to build big muscles. Ljudi obično kažu da bi imao jake mišiće. It's not just that. Nije samo to. Exercise builds your mind as well as your body. Fizička aktivnost jača vaš um i telo. The best way to strengthen your mind najbolji način da ojačate um is aerobic exercise. 
uh, aerobične vežbe. Okay. All right, now, a study was done. How to, uh, what older people can do to be healthier. Istraživanje je urađeno šta mogu stariji ljudi da učini da bi bili zdraviji. Exercise increases cardiovascular function. Znači, fizička aktivnost pobolje da šta kardiovaskularni sistem. I mean, the more you work your heart, a što više vi radite vaše srce, the stronger it gets. Jače će biti. Therefore, you're going to have better circulation. Imaćete bolju cirkulaciju. Okay? It also helps build your muscles. Pomaže vam u jačanju i izgrađivanju mišića. When you stress your muscles, kada su mišići pod stresom, really, you know, oh, that's hard, i kažete, oh, ja, ovo je naporno, your muscles build more fibers. Vaši mišići stvaraju više vlakana. And now you're building up your muscular system. I sada razvijate mišićni sistem. It strengthens your skeletal system. Jača vaš kosturni sistem. You've got two main types of cells in your bones. Imate dve vrste ćelije u vašim kostima. One builds the bones. Jedan gradi kosti. One tears the bones down. Jedan ih razlaže. Exercising builds the bones. Fizička aktivnost uh, jača ili gradi kosti. Because you got to stress your bones. Jer mora da stresirate kosti. It improves psychological function. Poboljšira psihološku funkciju. People who are depressed. Ljudi koji su depresivni. We tell them to get out and exercise. Mi kažemo da idu nabolje napolje da budu fizički aktivni. It protects you from fractures especially of your pelvis. Keeps you good balance. Ono vas štiti da imate dobru ravnotežu. Makes your bones stronger. Čini da imate jake kosti. It can be a good treatment for Parkinson's disease. To je dobar tretman za Parkinsonovu bolest. Matter of fact, any brain degenerative disease. Uh, svaku bolest koja je uzrokovala degeneraciju mozga. Here's the problem we have. I evo problem koji imamo. Someone gets sick. Neko je bolestan. We strap him into a wheelchair. Mi ga stavimo u... Uh, Uh, mi ga stavimo u invalidska kolica. No more exercise. I nema više fizičke aktivnosti. It accelerates the degeneration of our brains. To ubrzava degeneraciju mozga. It's a great treatment for strokes. To je dobar tretman za moždani udar. Had a patient come to UC Pines. Imao sam pacijenta u UC Pinesu. He was from the island of Bermuda. On je bio sa Bermuda. He had a stroke. Imao je moždani udar. They rented a plane and flew him to UC Pines. Oni su iznajmili avion da bi ga dovezli do Uči Pines. He was there the next day. Sljedeći dan je bio tu. We immediately started him on physical therapy. Odnosno počeli sa fizikalnom terapijom. Moving his limbs. Da pomeramo njegove udove. And helping him walk around. I da mu pomažemo da hoda. It was an intense program. Bio je naporan program. In three weeks. Za tri nedelje. He walked normal. On je normalno hodao. It's not going to happen every time. Neće se uvek desiti. But if we have the stroke, ali ako imamo moždani udar, which usually is going to affect half of our body, što će obično da utiče na pola našeg tela, we accept it, that's the way I am now. Mi prihvatamo da ću ja biti takav. Move it. Pokrećite ga. If you got to move it yourself, move it. Ako trebate sami da ga pokrećete, pokrećite ga. Because what can happen in the brain is it can re-educate the other half. Jer ono što može da se desi u mozgu je Ovaj drugi deo mozga može da nauči. Part of your brain is damaged. Iako je jedan deo mozga oštećen. There is a great, was a great neurosurgeon in America named uh, Ben Carson. Postoje jedan odličan neurohirur koji se zvao Ben Carson. Sometimes children have really major brain problems. I nekada deca imaju ozbiljne moždane probleme. He could take half of the brain out. On može da pola mozga izvadi. And the child could be perfectly normal. I deti dalje da može da bude savršeno normalno. Because the brain adapts. Jer se mozak adaptira. Now the older you get, the harder it is. Što ste stari, to je teže. But I would still move your body as much as possible. I ja bi i dalje pokretao telo što je više moguće. I've already mentioned that depression is treated with exercise. Ja sam već pomenuo da vi možete da izlečite depresiju uh, fizičkom aktivnošću. We get somebody with depression. Imamo neko ko ima depresiju. Get them out in the fields, hoe in the hoe in the corn. I mi ga stavimo u polje da on radi u kukuruzu sa kukuruzom. Sunshine. Sunčana svetlost. Fresh air. Svež vazduh. Exercise. Fizička aktivnost. That's what they need. 
To je ono što je njima potrebno. They don't need to sit in a dark corner in a lonely house. Njima nije potrebno da sede u mračnom čošku u usamljenoj kući. For older people and younger people it's good for sleep disorders. Za stare i mlade dobro je pomaže kod nesanice. You've got to be tired when you go to bed. Mora da budete umorni kad idete u krevet. Many people who work in sedentary jobs. A puno ljudi koji ima sedelačke poslove. They have what's called hypertonic stress. Oni imaju hipertonični stres. They got to exercise. Oni moraju da budu fizički aktivni. Burn that stress off. Da se gore taj stres. Then they can go to sleep at night. I onda mogu da idu da spavaju uveče. But another great benefit of exercise for everybody, especially older people. Ali još jedna velika korist fizičke aktivnosti posebno kod starijih ljudi. Look at the heart. Pogledajte srce. You got your coronary arteries. Imate koronarne arterije. Now people get heart attacks when one of these arteries is blocked up. I ljudi imaju srčane udare kada se jedna od ovih arterija blokira. But if you have exercised a lot, a kad bi bili fizički aktivni, blood flow, it, your, your system's going to form blood vessels all through your heart. A vaš sistem će da formira krvne sudove okolo. It's like somebody who knows the city very well. Neko ko poznaje grad jako dobro. The main street is stop and go traffic. I glavna ulica se zaglavila u saobraćaju. But they know a short another way, small roads. Ali oni znaju male pute ili prečice. That's called collateral circulation. To se zove kolateralna cirkulacija. Comes from getting exercise. To dolazi od fizičke aktivnosti. Okay. This is good not just for old people but for young people too. Ovo nije dobro samo za stare već i za mlade ljude. Apparently I'm an old people because I kept some English on that slide. Vjerojatno sam ja star čovjek jer sam zadržao neki deo engleskog na ovoj slici. No, I'm just testing your English abilities. Ne, ja malo testiram mogućnost vašeg engleskog. Exercises raises your red, red blood cells. A fizička aktivnost povećava i crvena krvna zrnca. They're the things that carry oxygen. Oni su ti koji nose kiseonik. Okay. And we need oxygen. I nama je potreban kiseonik. Especially in the brain. Pogotovo u mozgu. Okay. Matter of fact, your brain uses 20% of the oxygen that your body has in it. I mozak koristi 20% kiseonika koji se nalazi u telu. Okay. There's a famous lady. Postoji poznata uh, dama. Her name was Hulda Crooks. Njena ime je Hulda Crooks. Notice she lived to be 101. Ona je živjela do svoje 101. godine. She started exercising in her 60s. I počela da bude fizički aktivna u svojim 60-im. At the age of 93. I sa 93 godine. She climbed to the top of Mount Fuji in Japan. Ona se popela na vrh planine Fuji u Japanu. Oldest person ever to do it. Najstarija osoba koja ikad učinila. There's no excuse. Nemate izgovor. Something else they tell us. Nešto nam još govore. If a person is a sedentary non-smoker. Ako je osoba u sedlačkom stilu života i ne puši, he's got the same health risk as an active smoker. Ima iste faktore rizika kao aktivni pušač. You may say I don't smoke. Možete da kažete ja ne pušim. But if you're not exercising, ali ako niste fizički aktivni, just as bad. Isto je toliko loše. My recommendation. Moj savjet vam je. Be an active non-smoker. Budite aktivni ne pušač. Take care of yourself. Pobrinite se za sebe. Live longer and better. Živite duže i bolje.